Hello, hello. So this footage uh, I took uh, Saturday, Saturday. It's a it's a boat Hikamaru in Yokohama, next to Yamashita Park. And uh, I've been living in Japan for almost 20 years, <laughs> almost 20 years. And uh, this is the very first time I got to see this boat. I never, I have never uh, got in, inside the boat. And this is the footage I, ta uh, I took from inside the boat. It's a very beautiful boat. It was built in the 30s. Now it's a museum. And you can see it's a luxury, luxury boat. And how <laughs> those chairs are very comfortable. <laughs> very, very comfortable. And uh, I think the camera is too. I moved the camera too fast. So these days I'm trying to, I don't know, uh, do things, there. try to do things or go to places I've never been before, things that I've never done before, I don't know, just just for curiosity. I'm not really interested in doing these things, but I am stuck in a routine, doing exactly the same things again and again going to the same places again and again and uh, this routine is killing me <laughs> it's extremely 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 boring so i'm trying every weekend to go to a different place try to do a different something something different try to do something different every time every weekend and uh, one of my goals actually is to try to, to talk to different person every every weekend at least every weekend and uh, this is quite uh, I don't know, <laughs> difficult I'm not I'm uh, maybe I don't consider myself shy but uh, maybe I am because I have this difficulty of uh, trying to speak to strangers on the streets this is something I usually I never do. At least here in Japan. And uh, when I was young, maybe was more extrovert, actually more more open and uh, be able to talk to strangers right on the streets. But not not here in Japan, because first uh, I my my Japanese is not um, I don't know native level. It's I believe my Japanese is good because uh, I can I can read in, uh, without any problems. I can watch uh, TV programs without any problems. But uh, still, um, my Japanese is not native level. And, uh, I have my reservations about talking to people uh, right on the streets. So what else? Um, this video was taken in HD, high definition, but uh, I don't know, my, my software, I'm using Windows Movie Maker and uh, this software is not really designed to uh, uh, to deal with so large videos, high definition videos. My Windows Movie Maker is almost stopping. <laughs> I can't, the, the image is not moving. So, what else? Uh, what I can say about this boat? <laughs> I don't know. There's nothing, there's nothing. There's not much else I can say about it. Um, except it was, it was very, very beautiful. It's a small boat, yeah, of course, um, compared to present day boats. But still, it was very beautiful. I bought it was active in 30, 40, 40, 50s. Very old boat. And we have this feeling, Titanic, Titanic feeling. 
it's it's actually from the same time for almost I don't know uh, when when was Titanic built? This boat, Hikawa Maru, uh, was built in 1929. When the Titanic, I think it was before or before it, I don't even know. Well, but the t Titanic uh, was probably much bigger than the, this boat. So, so what else? Um, about this video, what else can I say? Um, there's not much I can say about this video, except the image. The image. I'm narrated the video, but the image has just stopped. <laughs> I'm not sure how this this will go. I can't say anything. <laughs> So this uh, video was taken yesterday. Today I went to today I went to Shibuya. Um, as always, I always go to Shibuya on weekends. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I go here to Yokohama Minata Mirai. And uh, I don't know. In the end, um, Yokohama, the only place. You can actually go in Yokohama is Minato Mirai. <laughs> Yokohama has only one good, interesting place uh, that is Minato Mirai. But Minato Mirai is still, I think, in my opinion, is still much better than any other place in Japan. Even even Tokyo. Tokyo has many many interesting places, but none actually uh, beats Minato Mirai, in my opinion. In terms of size, in terms of beauty, because Minato Mirai has an advantage of being right in front of the sea, and uh, in Tokyo you don't have such places. The only place that comes close is Odaiba. Odaiba is also in front of the sea, but it's it's much much smaller than Minato Mirai. This is the part of the engine of the boat. The lower decks showing how how are the engines of the boat. Of course, I went there and I didn't, I couldn't understand anything. I have no knowledge about mechanics, engines, all those kinds of things. I'm not not much a. <laughs> So, uh, what else? What else? Um, besides the fact that this boat really re reminds me of Titanic, I saw the movie Titanic once, and uh, it was it was very good, but um, I don't know, it was not that good, <laughs> in my at least in my opinion. Uh, so many people. Went to see the movie Titanic. It was so so much so much popular, but uh, the film is good, but in my opinion, not that good. It's it's the same about I don't know, Star Star Trek. Uh, what what is the name? J J Abrams. <laughs> I didn't like the Star Trek J J Abrams Star Trek movie. The film that is highly popular. Praised by the public, by the critics, but in my opinion, it was undeserved. And it was not that good. So what else? What else? Uh, because I'm talking about things that are completely besides this video. <laughs> I'm watching right now. At the same time, I'm narrating this video. I'm watching also the Big Blue. <laughs> Uh, what is his name? Uh, the French French director. Uh, the same that uh, directed the, the Fifth Element. What is his name? <laughs> I can't remember his name. Um, but it's very interesting. In this movie, we have uh, Rosanna Rosanna Ar Ar Arquette. Ar I don't know how to pronounce her name. And the uh, she looks exactly like uh, uh, 
uh, that other actress uh, that played Buffy. What's her name? Uh, I forgot her name. <laughs> I'm forgetting the names of everybody. I, I just can't remember. 